Hey everyone, we're back with the Bissell Clean View. I'm gonna be doing the update on this machine after a couple weeks of use. So here we go. I'm gonna check the filter first. So here's the pre-motor filter. You can see here's what it looks like. There's not too much, no, there's not too much going, there's nothing going through the filter. It's just on the very top layer. You can see it looks pretty clean in here. It looks pretty clean there. In here, also looks pretty clean. Let's check the post motor filter. I tip the machine over. I don't see anything in the post motor filter. I don't see any dirt coming out of it. Looks pretty clean. You can see the motor right there. cyclone is pretty good you can see all the dirt that has been trapped I'll show you through here you can see all that dirt that's been trapped in the bottom of the cyclone down there does a pretty good job I have to say let's check here and see if there's any dirt getting through I honestly don't see anything so it seems like the pre-motor filter is doing its job anything that gets through will be trapped by the post motor filter the brush roll, you can see I wiped the brush roll cover, this clear part, and it looks a lot better. Let's reset to the height adjustment. Overall, it has pretty good filtration, a lot better than other vacuums at its price range. The suction power is decent. The tools are where it struggles. The tools are okay, but they're not really the best. I'm not a fan of the tools as much as I am on some other machines that I've used the Bissell power glide I mostly use cordless vacuums for above the floor cleaning I mean I mainly just use my uprights for the floors and I use my cordless vacuums for everything else but overall I think this is a pretty good Bissell and I would recommend it so I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time goodbye